What's going on everyone? Talon here with Talon Collects Figures and we are back with another figure and uh, today we actually have a figure that's not by uh, Kotobukiya. We have a Good Smile Company figure here. Um, this is going to be Ginkgo here from uh, the Ryu's Work is Never Done and it is going to be a kimono version uh, of her here and this is actually going to be the very first kimono uh, figure that I have in my collection. So I have not gotten a single one before this. And that is mainly just because that's not really my collecting style. I usually only like to collect the characters that are in their basically, I don't know what you call them, like their default outfit. So the outfit that you see the character in the anime in the most. So, you know, if it's a school anime, then in their school outfit, if it's, it's uh, action anime, whatever their default like adventurer gear is, armor, this or that. Don't always like to get like say the bathing suit versions or the kimono versions or like the kind of special fan service episode ones. I don't know. I just always have liked to have them in their default attire. But Ginkgo here, uh, for some reason when I saw this figure, I don't know, I just really wanted it. And there wasn't any, well, there wasn't a lot of options uh for ginkgo figures there was a was it a taito figure i don't remember who made it but there was one with her in her normal school outfit and i think it was like a 30 or 40 dollar figure and it didn't look bad but i don't know this one just caught my eye here um this figure came out in october of 2022 so a little bit of an older figure now but not by too much and I think the original release price for her was $108, if the, if the website I'm looking at is to be believed. Because uh, right now, whenever I look her up, even on Good Smile's own website, she's $185 right now. So it seems like most places are selling her for like $180 to $200. Um, I ended up picking her up for only $120. So $120, that includes my shipping and tax because for some reason there was no shipping and tax uh, from the place I bought it from. I bought it from, was it Rabbit Tail Hobby? And that's their website. I've never ordered from them before. And they kind of have mixed reviews from just uh, regular buyer reviews. And... A lot of them say that the products get damaged in shipping is the main complaint. I haven't really seen much about them saying that they, you know, are shipping like counterfeit products or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, I had just never heard of the website before. But uh, they had her for a really cheap price. So I decided to give them a try and everything looks official on the figure here. I mean, I guess we'll find out once I open up the box here. But yeah, only 120 bucks for her. So I'm actually really happy with that price. So let's go ahead and get out of the box, see what she looks like, see if it's real or not, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so got her out. Here she is. And initial impressions is uh, very high quality figure um this a lot of weight to her the materials feel really nice the sculpt looks really nice so definitely uh official figure so they actually sent me the right thing so that is good because if this is a fake one it is very very good wow nice detail on everything here very very pretty i especially like her little snowflake up here which does actually feel pretty pretty sturdy so they have a nice thick print there on the snowflake so that it doesn't get broken too easily i love that expression there kind of the complete opposite of her expressions uh, throughout the entire anime but very very cute nonetheless so okay she's got her base here so let's just go ahead and put her on here right now can come on a little ah, tight there there we go there we go there we go all right and she's on stands up fine we have the top of the parasol here which is very very nicely done. 
because you know very clean lines on here for the paint or for the prints looks very good the underneath got a lot of detail here we've got all the nice wooden pegs we've got a nice little orient uh decoration here around the top oh it's even got like the the feel of like those um umbrellas that you put in your drink <laughs> it's like that kind of plasticky well not yeah kind of laminated plasticky feeling up there and then we have the handle here which is actually made out of metal so that is nice nice sturdy metal i don't know if that's oh, don't know if that's going to come up on my microphone here because i think i have some noise canceling going on uh but anyway looks good so now just got to figure out how to put this in without breaking it so I probably want to put this on first here yeah that just goes all the way up and does she just hold it through here oh no her hand doesn't seem to I'm gonna go look at the instructions before I try to force the umbrella where it doesn't go <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't go through her hand, as you can see here. She just caresses it underneath. So let's see if we can do that. <laughs> okay, and success. <laughs> she is now holding her parasol here. So there it is. This kind of being held underneath this hand here. This one is kind of holding in place a little bit as well. And also... Uh, uses her hair surprisingly to keep it in place as well if we take a oh, gotta take this off yeah take a look here see her hair is kind of holding it in place as well which I wasn't sure about because I was trying to put this in and when I was putting it in this way putting it in like that so I kept missing the hair and then it wasn't going underneath the hand here and I was like wait how do I get it through the hair without breaking it? and then I finally figured out well, I'm being stupid put it in this way like this so you guide it through here guide it through here and then you can find the perfect slots in the hair and now I put this on the top here and there she is. Perfect. Looks very, very nice with this uh, parasol here. Okay, yeah, she's looking really nice. She is a little bit too bright with my lights on right now. <laughs> um, actually, let me see if I could dim my lights, if that'll make her show a little bit better. Okay, maybe she'll look a little bit better now. I turned off my actual lights. So now all the all the light is the sunlight coming through my window that's over there. Um, yeah, still kind of bright, but the right angle. You can kind of see her there. But yeah, looking really, really nice. I'm actually very happy with how this figure turned out. And being my first um, kimono character I am very pleased got the nice snow there on the ground and the snowflake of course because she is the ice queen or I don't remember the exact name that they called her but it was something the ice ice uh, ice related take that off again so you can see the back here Yeah, she just looks really nice. So I'm going to put her up against my uh, my eye figure. We want to go... Actually, I can go grab that figure real quick so you can see who she's going to be sitting next to. So let's go grab her. Okay, so here she is. This is my eye figure. So these two are going to be going together in my display case. Um, I cannot remember who made this figure. I want to say it was like Aquamarine or something like that. Because um, this is not the Kotobukiya one, because I know there is a Kotobukiya 
uh, version of her. But at the time of when I was purchasing this figure, uh, it was kind of sold out everywhere and very expensive on the secondhand market. Whereas this one was still in stock and at a reasonable price. I can't remember what I paid for her because it's been a very long time. I have not done my figure review on her yet, which I will do at some point. And then I will, of course, check back on how much I paid for her, when I got her and all of that good stuff. But this will be a little preview, I guess. So yeah, these two are going to live together and uh maybe i'll make a little scene for them or something have some like a, a cherry blossom in the background or something like that but anyway that's gonna be it for this video here let me know if any of you have this ginkgo in your collection i am curious to know uh but that's gonna be it for this one hopefully you enjoyed and of course i will catch you in the next one